G'day, how you going? Welcome to Bootlosophy. If you haven't been here before, my name is Tech and I'm coming to you from Wajik country, Noongaburja in Western Australia. Now, today I'm going to do an unboxing and an initial impressions review of a pair of Helm Zind boots. <laughs> So this is the box that the uh, Helm boots come in. It's a very plain sort of dark grey box. It came in a, in a bigger shipping box, of course. Uh, and it says clearly, this is a pair of Helm, so we know what it is. Inside the box, what comes with it is uh, a spare pair of laces, uh, a boot bag, and on the boot bag is printed, uh, this is a pair of Helm, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> Um, lots of paper wrapping uh, and nicely protected on the inside are the Helm Zinn boots. Uh, they're nicely packaged, I must say, both of them. Just put that to one side. Uh, and inside each boot, they're stuffed with paper just to protect the shape, I guess, um, during delivery. So we'll take a look at these boots in greater detail. So, out of the box, let's take a look at these uh, Zin boots in some detail. Um, it's obviously a kind of service boot, dress boot type pattern. Quite simple, I think, in its design. Uh, just a quarter panel here, quarter panel there, and the vamp. This stitching here actually stitches the yeah, the inside uh, heel heel cover, heel counter cover. So that's not a panel. That's just a stitching on the on the quarter panel. And then there's a single strip backstay with a pull loop. The leather, the immediate feel of the leather, uh, feels really good. You can see that. Well, I hope you can see in this camera that it's uh, it's full grain. You can see all the pores and hair holes and things. I think it's ever so slightly corrected because I can't see particular scars and things so it's just been nicely dressed really nice it feels good underhand it feels soft it's not pull up it doesn't feel waxy like uh, chrome excel but definitely soft uh, the stitching on the uppers including this little box stitch here uh, is very nicely done very neat, double stitch there, double stitch there, single stitch up the back stay, little box stitch there, single stitch along uh, the collar. And there is a little, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but there is a little pattern there, which I think is deliberate. I don't think it's wheeling anything um, because it seems to go through. It's fully lined. Uh, and the tongue is fully lined as well. The tongue is uh, semi-gusted up to, what is it, uh, one, two, three, sort of somewhere, be somewhere around the fourth, between the third and the fourth eyelet. So it's up to there. So I think you can splash for a puddle and you'll be fine up to there. Uh, and it's also really good in stopping the tongue from slipping from side to side, which often happens with me. I like these thick round cotton laces. They look kind of, you know, chunky, settled. It's a very slim last. Uh, it looks sleek from the side. It looks very sleek from the top. The almond-shaped toe. It's a very narrow last, so it looks it, it looks sleek, shall I say? Let's see if it's narrow when I put them on on my feet. I'm I'm a little concerned because my feet doesn't like these sort of sharply turned in toes, but we'll see. Uh, it feels solid. There's a there's a solid. I'm guessing it wouldn't be it wouldn't be. Uh, uh, leather at this price. I'm guessing there's a celastic sort of uh, counter in there. The toe is structured. I'm guessing again celastic. Nicely put together. Uh, what would you say these are? Brass or, or slightly darkened chrome? The, the, the chrome on the inside, they have washers so that stops you scratching 
uh, your tongue as, as over time. So that's always a good touch. Always a good touch. I like that. Fully lined, I think I've said. Uh, fully lined in the vamp as well, yes. So vamping up the shaft. If you go down to the sole construction, it's a Blake Rapid Stitch construction, which I'll talk about in a minute. But if you look at the layers in the sole, and this is a really interesting thing that I'll talk about in a minute as well. If you look at the layers in the sole, there is a leather, I believe that's a welt, which is interesting for a Blake Rapid Stitch shoe using a welt. Then there is a rubber midsole, and that's the famous white line that you see in all helm boots. It's kind of a signature, really. Some people don't like it. I do. It makes it quite iconic. It has a leather sole, which you can see running uh, full slip leather sole all the way to the heel. And then the heel is built up with one, two, I think, possibly three stacks of leather. I'm assuming this is real leather. Uh, then there's that rubber insert for the grip here, and then a leather top lift. And if you turn your attention to the sole, this is very interesting. Uh, most leather shoes, you have to put on a, a sort of uh, a, a sole protector, but this has one built in. So you can see the leather sole and you can see it goes all the way through. They cut a little insert out to put this patch of leather on, which I really like. It means it gives you the grip while giving you also the flexibility and breathability of a leather sole. Uh, leather heel top lift you can see is nailed in with some brass tacks. It's a Blake Rapid Stitch, so let me talk about that. It's a Blake Rapid Stitch, but from what I can see, it includes a welt. Now, normally, a Blake Rapid Stitch means you have your uppers that are turned in, uh, the inside of the uppers are sewn directly to the midsole, and then the uh, outside of the midsole is sewn through to the outsole. That's the normal Blake Rapid Stitch. Uh, and what that means is, similar to Goodyear welting, you don't have this outside stitch going inside the boot, like a Blake Stitch construction boot is, where this is sewn directly through everything into the inside of the uh, uppers. In this case, there's a welt involved. So I think what they do is they turn the uppers in, they sew the uppers to the welt and the midsole, and then they run a stitch all the way through the uh, sole. It looks like 360 degrees to, no, it looks probably 270 degrees up to there. Uh, and that stitch goes through the outside of the welt so it doesn't interfere with the uppers at all. Blake Rapid Stitch is apparently just as uh, uh, recraftable and, and resolable as Goodyear welt. Uh, there's a lot of snobbery about Goodyear welted shoes, but. Blake Rapid Stitch, as far as I'm aware, you can uh, change the outsole once that wears off. Shouldn't be a problem. So really, I mean, I'm quite impressed. It's a really well put together boot for uh, US $295. So uh, let's talk a bit about Helm before I put these on feet. Helm is quite a newish company starting in uh, 2009. They first made their boots in Turkey, then moved production to the US, uh, and now their range of boots are made in the US and in Brazil. Helm is based in Austin, Texas, uh, and have their flagship brick and mortar store in Austin. Other than this flagship store, and about a half a dozen stockists across the US, uh, you can check their website um, uh, where they are, their main sales model is through their website. I'll leave a link below to their website. I've reviewed their Johnson boot before, a model they sadly no longer make, but currently uh, they have eight different models uh, uh, from service boots to work boots and dress boots and chuckers, and each model has uh, four or five different leathers available sourced from Brazil and the Dominican Republic. Helm's stated goal is to create a boot that's versatile, timeless and functional and able to be worn in the uh, workshop or boardroom. I'd say in the Zin, the goal is achieved, although maybe more boredom than workshop. But anyway, uh, time to get these on foot and see how they fit and feel. So this is proof of concept. Let's see how they fit. The um, toe looks quite narrow, so I'm interested in... Ooh, hello. That slipped in quite nicely. 
uh, it's a fully lined boot, so I'm not even sure I need the pull loop. No, <laughs> slips in really nicely. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes, the, the slimness of the toe made me a little worried, but my feet slipped in very easily, and, um, you know, I don't feel any pressure there at all. I wear a uh, US 8.5D in my true-to-size boots. That's what my Brannock measurement is, 8.5D in the US uh, Brannock machine. And, but in most of my other boots, uh, most of my American Heritage boots, and you know if you uh, are a regular in my channel, I wear US 8D. I size a half size down. This is no different in the helm. These are 8D in helm boots. When I looked at the last, or the shape of the last coming out of the box, I was a little concerned because it's quite a sharp almond-shaped toe. And usually when that happens, the outside edge of my little toe gets a bit cramped. I don't feel that at all. It curves around the ball of my foot quite well. I, I expected it to be quite tight, but it's not. So the slim look is quite deceiving, which actually is quite nice because if I'm wearing these with a suit, it looks sleek and I'm not in pain. <laughs> um, Size-wise, in an 8D, I think that's perfect for my feet. I'm just a little, little under a thumb's width away from the tip. The ball of my feet fit quite well. And from what I can see, where I bend my feet is about where the boot is designed to bend as well. So shouldn't be a lot of heel slip. And there isn't, although, uh, yes, there is a little bit of heel slip, but I, I think that's because the sole construction is actually quite thick. I mean, we, we saw the um, thickness of the outsole there. I think that needs to be broken in a little bit. And interesting, as I bend, you know, if you don't have really good leather, when you're bending, your vamp creases and rolls. Obviously, this creases as I bend it, but it's giving me very fine, crystalline um, cracks rather than big creases and rolls. You know, on foot, this feels very similar to Chrome XL. It's not. It's not as oily and waxy. But the feel of it is really nice. Full grain leather. The feel on foot is as good as the feel under hand as I took it out of the uh, box. I'm very impressed. The uh, underfoot, the foam or pour on sort of insole padding makes it immediately comfortable. I'm not feeling any like, you know, oh, this is a very hard insole and I've got to break this in as I uh, uh, stand on it. This is immediately comfortable. Some people don't like it because uh, it breaks down a lot faster. But, you know, I prefer to be able to walk in my boots than to suffer for three weeks and then eventually walk in them. Yeah, I like them. Uh, fit is good. Comfort is good. Definitely two thumbs up. Well done. So there you have it, the unboxing and my initial impressions. I don't think I remember to say that um, these cost on their website uh, 295 US dollars. Let's look at the value in that, just, just from these first impressions. And uh, I might update this when I do my uh, further review, but for now. Uh, I think at that price you want to compare them with boots like uh, Thursday's Made in USA Vanguard. Those sell for, I, I think, about US $265. Under that uh, $300 level, you also get boots like Huckberry's house brand, the Rhodes boots. They have a couple of different models. Uh, and then you want to look at, say, the Thoroughgood mock toe and maybe the Red Wing mock toe. Both of those are sort of skirting the $200 level. Look, I think these compare really well with uh, the Huckberry Rhodes boots in, in their various models. The leathers compare very nicely. I think the construction and the... Uh, 
the stitching and the tightness of it all compares rather well. Uh, the Thursday Vanguards are, I suppose you might call it a, a sort of more tougher boot. It's a more of a field boot. So they're different in the sense that they're not as finely uh, are finished. But I think both are in that same category of good value for money. So overall, I'd say at 295 US, this is fair value. This is a very versatile boot. And I think for that price, uh, you're doing pretty well. I'm going to leave a link below to the uh, Helm website. So you're going to have to take a look at these uh, boots and, and uh, play around with the website and see what you think. Uh, don't forget though, before you go, press the like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. So that's it guys. Um, take care and I've got other videos coming. So until then, look after yourselves.